Today on CBTV Idaho, we're going to discuss the sewer line rehabilitation project. We're going to discuss the updates to the High Sea Hot Springs pool construction project, and I'm going to give you some feedback on the latest CBTV community inquiry. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. My name is Tyson, and you are watching Construction Business TV, Idaho Falls, Idaho. Welcome back guys to CBTV Idaho. My name is Tyson and I'm your local journalist and videographer for Construction Business TV in the East Idaho area. If this is your first time on the channel, Construction Business TV is a YouTube-based news platform dedicated to keeping you up to date on all of the construction, development, road projects going on in your local area. Let's start this off with a local job post lead. I have four companies in Idaho Falls looking to hire for building finishing occupations. All these positions are local, they are all full time, they are all entry level. We have flooring installers, siding installers, garage door installer, and painters. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. You can follow that lead to indeed.com where you can see this list and you can apply to these positions. Now I have a lumber price update for you. As of today, the current lumber market price is set at $606.50 per 1,000 board feet. This is up from $582 this time last week. If you're liking the content that I'm providing for you in these videos, make sure you hit the like button below the video. With that, let's go to story number one. My first story is going to be the CBTV community inquiries. Many of you have started reaching out to me wanting to know more information on things that you're seeing in your neighborhood or in your community. And I've been reaching out to the city, finding out more information on some of these things, and I wanted to report them back to you. Today, we're going to discuss primarily the Heritage Park project and where that is in development at this point. This is what I got back as a reply. The small stream and asphalt pathway and final rough grading is the phase of construction that should be starting any day now and will be finished by October to November. This fall or early next spring, they hope to have the irrigation installed and the entire park seeded for turf. So we hope to have a usable pathway by this fall and a turfed park space by the beginning of summer 2022. If you're seeing construction or development in your community that you would like more information on, make sure to mention it in the comments below. With that, let's go to story number two. High Sea Hot Springs has recently posted on their social media regarding updates to the construction of their new pool project, and it reads as follows. We were informed due to some delays in the construction that the summer pool will not be open until September. We know this is a huge disappointment for pool patrons. We are sorry for any inconvenience this delay has caused. We are doing everything in our power to keep everything moving forward as quickly as possible. We also want to update you on some fun information about our remodel. This remodel is going to allow us to stay open longer into the fall and early winter season and open earlier in the spring on the weekends. We are going to be able to heat the pool and the slide. There are also heated walkways around the pool and in the dressing rooms. Due to the fact that we have not gone through a winter with this new heating system, we're going to see how it goes as we go. We can't wait to get to show you all these new features and all the exciting new things the summer pool remodel is going to bring. Thanks for being patient with us. We look forward to seeing you all soon. My final story is some information on the sewer line rehabilitation project, which began yesterday, August 2nd, 2021. This project is going to rehabilitate existing sanitary lines in selected areas. The rehabilitation of the pipe process will need access to the manholes. Various locations throughout the city, including but not limited to sections of pipe in Eastern Avenue between Ash Street and Maple Street, Curtis Avenue between 15th Street and the Canal, Morningside Drive and Polly Place in Hughes Addition, the alley between 15th Street and 16th from Holmes Avenue to Kramer Avenue, Southeast Bonneville from Panderosa Drive and Juniper Drive, south end of Coro Avenue and Mojave Street. So lanes may be reduced to one lane during portions of construction for this project. The estimated cost for this project is going to be $221,124 and this project is being funded by the Idaho Falls Wastewater Division. 
That's going to do it for this week's edition of Construction Business TV, Idaho Falls, Idaho. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button to Construction Business TV on YouTube and the notification bell so that you get updated when I come back every Tuesday with more information on what's going on in Idaho Falls. Thank you for your time and your support. You guys drive safe.